Okay, a couple things I want to show you. Um, I know this is ahead of where you're going to be, but I've already created sculpted terrain and added some textures and I've even added some details. There's actually grass in here. So one point I wanted to make <clears throat> is that um, sometimes when you're doing stuff, you don't see it until you really zoom in. So when I zoom in and orbit a little bit, you can see that there's grass here. Another way to do it is to add an FPS character so you can play the game and see how it looks from inside the game. So let me quickly do that. The second guy you're going to watch, so this guy just does terrain sculpturing, sculpting and texturing from afar. Um, I'll fix my spelling error later. This guy you're going to use to see how to do the grass and the trees and the water. Now, he's the one that uses the first person controller. Um, and so I want you to have that in your game so that when you're watching his, you'll understand that he goes into game mode and is seeing it from that player character. So if we go back here, the great thing is that we imported standard assets so we would have access to these textures. Um, and the grass and stuff. But the other great thing is that it comes with a first person character. So in order to put that in your game, you're gonna open characters. It will look like this. You're gonna open the first person character thing. You're gonna open the prefabs and then you're gonna find this first person controller and you're gonna just bring it up to your hierarchy. Um, a first-person controller has its own camera. So after we do that, we're going to delete the main camera that comes with a sample scene. Okay, and so now we need to position this guy so that when we see game mode, it won't look so bad. So I've highlighted that. Um, we're going to click this. We can move it around, actually. Let me orbit this a little bit. Come on, move. My computer is laggy. Okay, so basically I want to get it to about here. Now our terrain's kind of high, so we are going to have to increase the height of the FPS. So you can see that that's not bad. It's a little wonky rotation-wise. Maybe I'll bring it here and move it back here. I think I actually want it to start out about there. Um, I might rotate it a little. And so, because I'd like him to sort of be looking at the road, which I think he is. Um, so watch, if I click play. Do, 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 do. There. Um, the controls are working. I'm using the arrow keys and FSDS works too, as well as the mouse controller. Okay, so if I use the mouse, I can look around. Um, so that's how to get the FPS in. Um, you'll want to do that second, and yours will be on a flat landscape, but it will still work for you. In order to exit play mode, when you're in first person character, you have to hit the escape key. So hitting the escape key gives you back your mouse so that you can hit pause. Um, so do that before you move on to the other videos. Okay, hope it goes well.